Royal author Duncan Larkham believes that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are trying to compete with Wills and Kate through their Archwell Foundation. Among numerous projects they have launched since stepping down as senior royals, Meghan, 39, has released a book and they have launched a podcast series. Harry, 36, is also fronting a behind-the-scenes documentary series for Netflix about the Invictus Games, a sports tournament he created for injured service personnel. All this comes as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have tried to widen their appeal on social media in recent months by launching a YouTube channel and changing their Instagram name. While not publicly mentioning each other in these ongoing projects, Mr. Larkham, who wrote Prince Harry, The Inside Story, said they were clearly competing with one another. He told The Sun's Fabulous, whether William and Kate like it or not, they are now international players in a transatlantic popularity contest with their own flesh and blood. Harry and Meghan have shown that modern royalty will only survive if it is absolutely at the cutting edge of social media and their profiles play into the narrative of the cult of the celebrity which is a complete change from the era of Prince Philip. It was never about the royals, it was about the causes, never complain, never explain, ignore questions about you and make it about your causes. He added, clearly William and Kate are quite clear they need to do more to sell themselves as a couple, family and personalities. I think in the first few years of their marriage they were very formal. Things like their anniversary video, that is a deliberate charm offensive to sell them as personalities as well as people who are going to be the king and queen. The Sussexes announced that they were stepping back as senior royals last January, in a move made permanent earlier this year. The couple and their son Archie have since settled in California, where the former Suits actress grew up. Since their departure they have signed several multi-million pound deals with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. Meghan is also currently heavily pregnant with her second child. And, as her due date nears, bookies have slashed the odds on the daughter being called Philippa. It's now just three over one that Harry and Meghan name her in honor of her late great-grandfather Prince Philip. Diana is second in the betting at 5 over 1 or there's 10 over 1 on offer for Elizabeth and Allegra. Jessica O'Reilly of Ladbrokes said, The support for baby Philippa is showing no signs of slowing down, and we've been forced to trim the odds again that it's the name for Harry and Meghan's daughter.